What's going on everyone, Alex here, and welcome back to another episode of Cheers to Gear, where I sit down, crack open a beer, or in this case, have a beer poured for me, and we talk about everything related to film and photography gear. And in today's episode, we are talking about this right here, the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag. We're gonna talk about the goods, the bads, and do a slight comparison to another everyday bag, the Peak Design Everyday Bag. One of the biggest pros to the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag is the fact that it is comfortable as hell. It is far, far more comfortable than my Peak Design Camera Bag ever was. And that's a win. One of the biggest reasons why this bag is so comfortable is the fact right here, on the back, it has these big cushions on it. And seriously, it is so, so comfortable. And another reason is right here is the straps themselves are very, very thick. Is this enough of a, of a comparison on the straps for you? Look how thick this bad boy is. It is thick with two C's. This right here, it don't please. That rhymed. One pro that the Peak Design Bag straps have over the Peter McKinnon bag is the fact that it has magnets in the strap. So you just, look at that. That, that, is, that is nice, I will say that. So kudos to Peak Design on that. All right, now let's get onto some cons with the Peter McKinnon Everyday Bag. Con numero uno is uh, the top part right here in the bag. When you open it up, this right here just feels like a lot of wasted space. I feel like they could have taken advantage of this by adding, you know, you got these mesh pockets right here, maybe two small little mesh pockets for more accessories. That would have been really, really nice. Uh, another thing is I know when he sent this bag out to be reviewed, there were four mesh pockets. They were smaller, there were one, two, three, four, kind of miss some of those. I feel like I like the long one right down here, but I would have loved to have seen two up top, two smaller ones. Uh, that's just my opinion. Con numero dos is gonna be on the inside here. Uh, again, kind of wasted space in my opinion. When you open this up, it's just one giant cavity for things inside, uh, which is fine. I Originally, this, di this didn't exist. They actually added this in for the final version, the final product. So I really love that they did add in a pocket, but on the inside, I would have loved to have seen a couple little little cubbies, little pockets for knickknacks. But uh, yeah, I just feel like they could have added a couple more little things in there. So I'm hoping with uh, version two, it's just gonna be pockets galore. I ditched the Peak Design bag and swapped to the Peter McKinnon bag was the fact that I could just take it off, set it down, open this up right here, they call it the loft, and I have the small cube in here and I can just reach in, grab a camera, and just start shooting and go. I, I, I like this whole design better than the Peak Design. For example, with the Peak Design bag, I have to sling it to one side, I have to open it up, hold the camera out, and then I have to close it with just one hand and like, look, this is what's become of the Peak Design bag. It just doesn't want to close. I have to like really pull it closed and then I have to sling this over here, pull my camera out, grab some bangers right there. Uh, and then let's say I want to swap a lens. I have the lenses on the other side, so I have to go over here. I have to put this on like this, do this, and then have to zip the same kind of thing you saw me from the start. You, you catch my point. You get what I'm getting at. This is just so annoying. So it just got to this. I'd set the camera bag on its side, open it up, grab the camera, take some shots. Then I'd be like, oh, I wanna swap my lens. So I'd set the camera down, close this guy, 
flip it, open this up, and it'd get caught. It always gets caught right here. So I'd open it up, grab a lens, swap the lens, take shots, put, you know, this lens fits only on this other side, so I'd have to swap lenses. It just became a nightmare. So with the Peter McKinnon bag, it has me super excited to just get out and start shooting. And that, to me, is what's more important. All right, so with all that out of the way, what do I think about the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag? Well, I've only had it for a couple days. Finally got my grubby little fingers on it, as well as many others out there finally got their grubby little fingers on it. Just get on Kickstarter, read the comments. It's, you'll understand. Uh, but in those couple days, it has been a fantastic bag. It's very well built. Uh, I love the design of it, and it really has me excited to use this bag. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. That's also a plus. And I'm very excited to finally retire this, uh, this Peak Design everyday bag. So that can just go over there. Final thoughts. Yes, it's a very, very nice bag. Highly recommend going out and purchasing one. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So with that said, I raise my glass. It's Peter McKinnon Nomadic and the Everyday Camera Bag. Cheers. Well guys, that does it for me on this episode of Cheers the Gear. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Tap that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, shoot to create. Cheers.